the work of freelance university art and design instructors, referred to as contract academics. Largely the work that you're seeing is by um, people who are practicing nationally and internationally. Call this industrial and visual communication design, painting, printmaking, drawing, intermedia, and sculpture. Roy Mills created this. It was a sculpture about the human body, about the medical industry and uh, genetics research that's gone on in terms of using uh, high-priced, expensive tools, trying to give the audience some sort of a reflection on what it's like to deal with tools that have a heavy weight, a feeling that they uh, have a degree of responsibility when you're using a seven million dollar microscope. The accent is on the original. So that's an installation piece that's supposed to be felt holistically. Hard to capture on camera, one of those things you have to come down and see. But. It's rising smoke, is it? It is rising smoke, yeah. And so um, it's meant to be, you know, kind of have a bit of a haunting feel to it. Some was less out there. Uh, the figure in the piece is, is digital and has been output digitally. And so I'm thinking as a printmaker, but I'm acting as a painter. So printmaking works in terms of layers. Uh, there's a figure within a cage and it's talking about different types of structures that no longer suit us. Small pictures within mirrors had a certain reflective twist. I looked at modern art, uh, so some of the modern art that might sort of fit in with uh, some of the ideologies that are going on in this show right now. And uh, I made these images and then sort of embedded them into these mirrors, which then sort of reflect uh, the actual pieces. Then there was more conservative work. You know, I'm kind of playing with technology where I take something that's digital and then I, through a transformative intervention, but through my hand, you know, it's now, it's become something else, right? Like he said. These are the people that are, that are teaching, you know, maybe 50%, maybe 60% of the students uh, compared to the full-time staff here. And uh, I, I think it gives a, gives a, a sort of a nice take on the worldviews. The exhibit is a fantastic exhibit, I think, because it really shows the diversity of Edmonton um, artists and people who are instructing, particularly at the University of Alberta. Uh, but it's a good snapshot of, of um, strong practice and, and um, diversity. 50 years and counting. For Go Edmonton, I'm Tim Dancy.